It's a project more than a year in the making, and now Indigo is celebrating overwhelming interest in the Red Line Rapid Transit route. But we know you have some lingering concerns about sharing the road now that the Red Line buses are rolling through Indianapolis. So rtv 6s Cameron Riddle is working for you, riding along with a Red Line bus driver who explains how the rules of the road have changed to keep everyone safe. Driving a bus this size is no easy task, and the operators who make them move say it is you, the car drivers, who can make this drive a little bit easier. Indigo bus driver Christina Freeman is one of the drivers who helped launch the new Red Line bus system. Two weeks in, and she's mastered the tight turns, busy streets, and new bus stops, all while becoming a passenger favorite. Christina's an awesome driver. I love her. Keep me going. While behind the wheel, Freeman has driven every inch of the 13-mile red line. She's witnessed its greatest successes and its problem areas, including on Capitol Avenue, where buses and cars have collided multiple times. She says the solution is simple. Just pay attention. Use your defensive driving, not your regular driving. If you're driving around the red line, and look both ways. Capitol Avenue has always been a one-way street, but now buses have their own lane running in the opposite direction. That change has caught some car drivers off guard. Freeman says even if you do see the bus coming, don't try to pull out in front of her 70,000-pound vehicle unless you have plenty of room. The buses do not stop on a drop of a dime. We have to actually pump these brakes down. If we go in 30 down Capitol, Okay, it's gonna take us at least three to five seconds to stop. So by the time we, you didn't pull it out, pulled in front of us, we didn't already hit you. After weeks of practice, Freeman's driving skills show as she lines up closely with the elevated bus stop platform. Well, that's because I practice, I drive this five days a week. And when I was on the extra board, I did it for six days a week, all day. You drive this more than you drive your car, though. She says just like she's learned every stop and turn from inside the bus, drivers on the outside will get used to the red line and the new traffic patterns. It's the people. It's not the red line. <laughs> the red line is smooth. It goes from one end of the city on the south side to the next end of the city out north. It's smooth. Working for you in Indianapolis, Cameron Riddle, RTV6. Also working for you, we asked drivers what they think now that the red line route has been operating for more than a week. Before the red line, you knew where things cluttered and what time they cluttered. And so as a driver, you either avoided them or you found different routes. It's the same concept with the red line. It just takes people a little bit of time to get that rhythm down. Best thing you can do is stay away from Meridian. And there are a few other streets. Because if you get behind one of the buses, you're stuck. For more information on how to navigate the red line as a driver or rider, go to our website, theindychannel.com, and watch our special called Inside the Red Line.